What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We're currently on the road to 1,000 subs. Uh, so if you could, please hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get back to the video. Um, all right, so my next question. Toughest player you played in the league? Uh, man. Um, I say Akeem Hicks. I ain't going to lie. Out in, uh, in Chicago, I don't okay. play against him like Four, four times now. Okay. It's just like he, big dude, strong dude, pretty nimble to be. I mean the 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 program say six four, six five, three three thirty five. He got to be about three hundred sixty. Yeah. yeah. But now nah, he can move. He's strong. He take chances. He he. You can tell he watch. He, he do his due diligence when you watch a film because he take chances. Nine times out of ten, the chances he take are are are, are correct. But uh, I definitely say. I'll say Hicks, or I'll say – see, I would say Donald, but we, I, I played against Aaron last year in Cleveland, but I was playing tackle, so I didn't I didn't see – I didn't okay. see him much because he's usually, he's usually over the th uh, over the guard or center. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I go, I, go, I go Hicks for sure. Hicks is okay. good player. Okay. So, so, so he worked – does he – is he is he more of a – because I, I played with Hicks um, at Patriot, mm -hmm. so he um, so so talk to me a little bit. Is he more of a bull rusher? Is he because you know you have the big guys, but these guys can move, they can finesse a little bit. So is he is he a finesser or is he just a powerful guy? He's a he's a really powerful guy that that he'll give you so he'll give you power 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 playing and play out. And you'll you'll think you'll you'll forget that he got finesse in his game still. So he'll bull rush, bull rush, bull rush, bull rush, jump swim, like out mm -hmm. of nowhere, like just out of you. You wouldn't right. even think he, he coming in here like this swim, and right. it's like. But uh, he uh, the power is what gets you because he can he can beat you if he wants to every play. He can almost beat you with power or or move you back a couple yards almost every play, mm -hmm. but. But uh, he definitely got some finesse in his game too, and he's really good with uh with picking hands. So if you you a double hand mm -hmm. shooter, you right. shoot, he'll grab your wrist, grab your elbow, like replace it. And he's strong enough to keep it over there too. So right, he, uh, he's a real he's a real good player. Man, that that's the worst, man. You remember uh, in, in college, man, EJ EJ used to do that EJ. as well. <laughs> his pick hands, just man. waiting for it too. It's the it's the worst thing, man. It's like you gotta you gotta try to yank it, you gotta get away from him. So now you now he dictating everything, man. Yeah, yeah that, that's definitely again. the worst. Yeah, definitely the worst, man. So so for my last question, all right. So for my last question, how important is it? Because by you, because you being in the league, you just about you play guard tackle. Um, I know at, at one point you was um, getting after it at center. So, how important is it to to learn how to play all five positions? Man, I, honestly, man, I I wouldn't still be in the league if I couldn't. Because honestly, you got you got a certain certain amount of guys on teams that uh that like Jake Matthews mm -hmm. plays left tackle, won't play anything else in his career. Alex right. Mack plays center, won't play anything else in his career, but. Other than guys like that, man, you mm -hmm. you, you stick around because they if something happens, you can go play, you can go play right tackle, you can go play right guard, you you can go snap the ball if, if they need to, and just in case. And it's like, it's uh, they got a you got a couple guys on every team that play one position, but everybody else is cross trained. Everybody else can play center, can play guard. I mean, I play, in my first year in Green Bay, I, I made the team as, um. The swing, swing inside guard, the swing inside guy played both guards and center. And that year, I started six games at tackle, and I played. I played some some games at guard too, but it's just about more you can do. The more, uh, the more places you can play, the less people they're gonna have to have around. It, but you get to stay around. So, All right. So it's just uh, honestly say if I if if I if I couldn't play more than one position, I wouldn't be in the league right now. Hey man, that that's definitely that's definitely true. I was uh I was training uh, a couple of my young guys, you know, little high school guys, and um, mm -hmm. you know we was just talking and, and conversating a little bit, and I was just telling him like, man, you don't, it's not like high school, and um, and even like college, you don't travel with a bunch of guys, 
You only have no. a certain amount of the guys that you travel with. Just, just so, just so everybody knows, in most years in the NFL, you you get a, you have you have maybe eight or nine game, eight or nine guys make the team, the fifty three man roster. Fifteen or sixteen come into camp, so you can have a four three line. Eight or nine guys make the team, and of those guys that don't start, everybody else can play multiple positions. Everybody can play. Um, if you if you're a guard and you made the team, you probably know how to snap. Mm-hmm. If you're a tackle and you made the team and you're not starting, you probably can play a little guard. It's like it's it's hardly any any guys unless they were like a first round pick that didn't happen to win the battle in training camp that just mm-hmm. played one position. Right. So it's like either either learn how to do it or they're gonna find somebody who know how to do it. All right. And even uh, I remember, man, we used to talk about it all the time, man. How we wish we would have learned how to long snap, man. No, nah. them boys, all all that counts, man. Because if you can do it, if something happened, you you on the field, and right. if you're on the field, you can you can be you can. And once you get on the field, that's when you earn your chances to get on to stay on the field. Mm-hmm. But the only way you can earn your chances is to get on there first. Exactly. Exactly, man. Yeah.